Hey, it's Chessie from Squeegin Inc. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we drain and clean our EasyWay dip tank. If you use the EasyWay dip tank, you may not actually need to do a whole drain and clean of your dip tank when the times for your reclaiming get a little bit longer. You can simply use a gallon of Supra to shock the chemicals again and get your times quicker for reclaiming your screens. We've had this system in place for well over a year and we reclaim about 35 to 40 screens a week. We've done a couple of shocks to get the, um, the chemical process sped up again to around that two minute mark. However, now we feel like we've got quite a lot of sludge in there and it would be a really good idea to clean out our tank, refresh it and just do a whole new batch of chemical and get our tank really nice and clean and make sure that our screens are reclaiming perfectly every time. In this video, we're using the 25 gallon EasyWay dip tank system, and then we're filling that up with the Easy Strip Supra from EasyWay, and also the EasySolve 701N. If you're in the UK, you can get all of this type of thing from Screenprint World, and you can use our discount code CRP5. If you're in the US, you can go straight to EasyWay and use the Squeegee 10 discount code on their website. The first step is to remove all of this liquid out of the tank. So I've gone and got a liquid siphon. This wasn't very expensive and I just got it from the local hardware shop. And um, yeah, that should be, uh, do the trick in getting all the liquid out. And we're just gonna put it directly into the washout booth. The chemical which is currently in the dip tank is Supra by EasyWay. Um, I've had a good look at the information sheet and checked that this is going to be fine to go down the washout booth. It has zero VOCs, which will categorize it as environmentally friendly, and it's also non-flammable and non-hazardous. At the bottom of this tank, we anticipate there being some sludge. So sludge, I mean as like debris or like maybe chunks of plastisol ink, maybe a bit of tape at the bottom. So I'm gonna be sure not to agitate all that debris to get it into the solution, because I don't really want that going down the drain. So I'm just gonna try and take the liquid out and then I'm gonna scoop out the sludge and remove that separately. All the water has been removed from the tank now and then we're just left with the sludge that I was anticipating. Um, there isn't actually a huge amount in there, a bit uh, less than I thought was actually going on. So in hindsight, I probably could have just shocked this a couple more times, but I'm going to remove it and get a whole new solution in there and refresh the tank completely. I'm going to put all this sludge and debris into a plastic tub and then I'm going to go to my local tip and see how they want me to dispose of it. After taking the sludge out, I decided to take it right outside and rinse it with a hose as well, just to make it as clean as I possibly can. And uh, just a little note, on one of our previous videos, we thought that we were going to put a bucket at the bottom and kind of drain it from there. But actually, in hindsight, thinking about how to siphon, siphoning off was super easy and I think it was more efficient. And um, yeah, it's quite scary unplugging that so I feel like the siphon was the easiest option. I'm ready to fill my tank up again so I'm going to do that with 21 gallons of water and four gallons of Easy Strip Supra. Having filled up one of these tanks before we know to put two blank screens in and that helps us gauge where the water level should end up and we're also going to put our water in first and our Supra in last because you don't want the Supra to all foam up and go everywhere. I'm also going to make sure once the solution is all in there that I let it settle for a little bit before I start adding my first screens. Just in case you didn't watch our last dip tank video, these are quite hard to get off sometimes. So once you've removed this, um, this little security ring thing, 
you can get a bit of screen tape and put it over the handle like that and then it just gives you a little bit more grip to be able to get it off so it's still quite tight but that's much much easier than trying to just grip it with your hand I have two screens in here with emulsion on and they're just quickly soaking in there for two minutes so I can see how effective the tank solution is. <laughs> that is actually been left in there slightly too long because I overestimated how potent this new mix is. So we're probably actually only around maybe like a minute and a half, um, maybe even less. So it's much more effective. It's definitely working and I'm ready to rinse off this emulsion now. Um, I'm ready to do the 701 now because I want to get rid of this very slight hazing on the mesh. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you found it useful and remember if you're buying any of the products that you saw in this video, such as the, the Dip Tank, the Supra or the Easy Solve, uh, remember to use the discount codes that we've got for you, so that's CRP5 with Screen Print World and Squeegee 10 on the Easy Way website if you're in the US. Please like and subscribe and write any comments or questions or any tips that you might have for reclaiming screens in the comments. at the skip and see how they take it. No, that's awful, yeah. You said skip. Did I? <laughs> Let me do it. <laughs> Go and get some more sludge. You get more sludge. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even on camera.